A little over and under. Where else would we start except for NC State? Of course, all of these numbers brought to you by Caesar Sportsbook. And Joey, I'll start with you. The Wolfpack over under eight and a half wins. I'm going to go over. I think they start their season at 4-0 before they travel to Clemson, which could be their their first loss of the season. But I think it is the key to any season is the way you start. And if they can start off with 4-0 with this schedule, then they go to Clemson, then Florida State, Syracuse, Virginia Tech. I see eight and a half wins on this schedule for Devin Larry and NC State. I think, I think they'll be rolling at home. I feel good about that. But they need to be really careful week one. We've seen them live the bad teams in week one in seasons when they've had expectations. Remember when they lost to South Carolina a couple years ago? ECU, that'll be ECU Super Bowl, so be careful there. Be careful on the road at Syracuse. You know you're going to go and play well against Clemson. That to be expected. They're going to get their best to that week. They're going to try to peak that week. But the games that you got to be careful of when you're NC State are the teams that you're better than. you got to guard against them, letting their expectations down, letting their preparation dwindle. So the game at Syracuse, game at Louisville, those are the ones that scare me. The game at Clemson I feel great about, and the game against North Carolina I feel great about. But, man, the games that scare me are ECU. I know people will say you're crazy. I'm just saying I know that rivalry, ECU, and then Syracuse. Those are the two scary games to me that could certainly put them under the number. But I like, with Joey, I like the over at 8.5. All right, interesting. Not the prevailing theory, but it works. I, I hardly need to ask you, Joey, about Miami since you made it clear how you feel about the Hurricanes, but uh, also uh, a win total over under eight and a half. I'm going over with Miami. I, I think they'll be a much better football team. Uh, I, I think that they should start their season at least three and one. At the end, they go to Clemson and then have Pitt at home. Uh, which could decide the Coastal. So if Miami gets things rolling before they roll into those last two games, I'm going with the over. I feel comfortable that they'll get at least nine wins. I'm with you, Joey. I'm taking the over here, too. And I think they'll actually get it with relative ease. Yeah, the game two, Texas A&M in week three will be a difficult one, but that'll be a good gauge. How far away is this team at that point? They get North Carolina at home to Virginia Tech. I don't think Virginia Tech's quite ready at this point. At Virginia, they'll have to score a lot of points in that game, but I think they'll be comfortable at that point playing against a team that they really should have beat last year. They lost that game, but I think that revenge will be on the mind of the Miami team. So I think at Clemson will be tough at the end, and Pitt at home will be tricky too. But for all intents and purposes, man, I think 9-3, and 10-2 is very Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.